Good morning. Our intentions for today's Mass are the following. Thanksgiving, Alberto family, Counselor Carol Conanan, Magpayo family, Manalang family, Special Intentions, Counselor Roberto Obet Samson. For the souls of Milagros, Ronald, Ramon, Maria, Doroteo, Edita and Christian Lor Alberto, Amelia Magpayo, Rolando Manalang, Gloria Soria, Joseph, Antonio and Nilo Eduarte, Chris Adagao, and all souls in the Purgatory. Magsiluhod po tayo at ating dasalin ang panalangin para sa sinod. Kami ay nakatayo sa iyong harapan, banal na espiritu, habang kami ay natitipon sa iyong ngalan. Gabayan mo kami habang kami nasa iyong piling. Manahan ka nawa sa aming mga puso. Turuan mo kami sa aming mga pagkilos at kung paanong makakamit ito. Kami ay mahina at makasalanan. Huwag mong hayaang maging sanhi kami ng kaguluhan. Huwag mong hayaang ang aming kamangmangan ay dalhin kami sa maling landas o di kaya'y makaapekto sa aming mga pagkilos. Hayaan mong masumpungan ka namin sa aming pagkakabuklod. Nang sa gayoy makapaglakbay kami tungo sa buhay na walang hanggan, at hindi malihis sa daang matuwid at tama. Ang lahat ng ito ay aming hinihiling sa iyo, ikaw na kumikilo sa lahat ng dako at oras, sa pakikipag-isa ng ama at anak, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ating dasalin ang panalangin bago magsimula ang Santa Misa. Sa ngalan ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Ama naming banal, Naririto ako ngayon isang makasalanan na haharap sa iyong dambana. Linisin mo ako sa lahat ng dungis ng kasalanan. Linisin mo ang aking isipan upang ikaw lamang ang aking isipin. Linisin mo ang aking puso upang maitampo kita at madama ko ang init ng iyong pagmamahal. Linisin mo ang aking labi upang ang ngalan mo'y aking masambit at ikaw ay aking matanggap. Linisin mo ang buo kong pagkatao, kaluluwa at katawan, upang ikaw lamang ang aking itangi at sambahin sa araw-araw. Nawa, ang Santa Misang aking dadaluhan ngayon ay makapagpabago ng aking buhay pangkatawan at lalong higit ng aking kaluluwa. Mahal na Birhen, ina ng awa, samahan mo ako sa iyong anak. San Jose, patro ng inang simbahan, gabayan mo ako patungo kay Jesus. Amen. Sa ngalan ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Let us all stand and sing our entrance hymn. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts of penance and charitable works. Today, we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration 
of our Lord's Paschal Mystery. That is to say, of His Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that He entered His own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in His footsteps, so that being made by His grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in His resurrection and in His life. At this very moment, we will pray the blessing of the palm. Can you raise your palm for the blessing? Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. As he drew near to Bethpage and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples. He said, Go into the village opposite you, and as you enter it, you will find a cold tether on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. And if anyone should ask you, Why are you untying it? You will answer, The master has need of it. So those who had been sent went off and found everything just as he had told them. And as they were untying the colt, its owner said to them, Why are you untying this colt? They answered, The master has need of it. So they brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks over the colt, and help Jesus to mount. As he rode along, the people were spreading their cloaks on the road. And now, as he was approaching the slope of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of his disciples began to praise God aloud with joy for all the mighty deeds they had seen. They proclaimed, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory is in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. He said in reply, I tell you, if they keep silent, the stones will cry out. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please, Please. be seated. Mga kapatid, 
tayo ngayon ay nagdiriwang ng linggo ng palaspas o tinatawag nating Palm Sunday of the Passion of the Lord. So ito yung ang unang ibanghelyo sa pagdiriwang natin ngayon. Narinig natin na si Jesus ay matagumpay na pumasok sa Jerusalem bilang hari. Yan nga ang mga tao ay sumisigaw ng ganito. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Purihin ang Diyos dahil dumating na ang hari. Naghihintay sila ng isang hari na magliligtas sa kanila, magpapalaya sa kanila. Tandaan po natin mga kapatid, in world history, mababasa po natin sa panahon na si Jesus nung isya'y isinilang, ang lupain ng Jerusalem ay nasasakupan ng Roman Empire ng mga Romano. At itong mga Hudyo, naghihintay ng isang hari na magpapalaya sa kanila. At nakita nila, siya na. Siya na ang pumasok dito sa Jerusalem. At siya ang magpapalaya sa atin. Yun ang nasa isip nila. Yan nga, ang palaspas natin ay simbolo ng pagtanggap natin kay Jesus bilang hari sa ating buhay. Yan ang palaspas. Yan nga pagkatapos ng banal na misa, uuwi kayo, ilalagay nyo yan sa altar, ilalagay nyo yan sa pintuan, sa bintana, kahit sa ang sulok ng ating tahanan ng buong taon. Isang simbolo na tinanggap natin ng buong buo na may galak ang pagpasok ni Jesus sa ating buhay, yan po ang simbolo ng palaspas. At yan din ang gagamitin natin, susunugin sa Ash Wednesday. Dahil ang panawagan po ng panahon ng kwarisma, ang Ash Wednesday ang simula ng panahon ng kwarisma, ang panawagan ng panahon ng kwarisma ay isa lamang. Pagsisihan at talikdan ang ating mga kasalanan. Pagsisihan at talikdan ang ating mga kasalanan. Kung matandaan po natin nung si Jesus ay isinilang nung liturhiya ng Kapaskuhan, narinig po natin ang isang anghel ay nagpapakita sa mga pastol ng karnero at sinabi niya sa bayan ni Haring David sa Bethlehem ay isinila ngayon ang dakilang tagapagligtas. Ang dakilang tagapagligtas. Yan ang i-underline natin. Tagapagligtas. Hindi sinabi ang anak ng Diyos, kundi tagapagligtas. Dahil isinilang si Jesus sa isang misyon para tayo ay palayain, para tayo ay iligtas. Mga kapatid, hindi po political king ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. Na yun ang nasa isip ng mga Hudyo, napalayain sila sa kalipinan ng Roman Empire. Hindi po. Si Jesus, ang kanyang kaharian ay nagpapalaya sa atin sa kulungan ng kasalanan. Tayo po ay nakakulong na ibilanggo dahil sa kasalanan. At si Jesus ang susi sa paglaya natin sa kulungan ng kasalanan. Yan ang misyon ng ating Panginoon. Yan nga nung siya isinilang, sinabi ng angit, Ito, siya, ang dakilang tagapagligtas, ang hinihintay natin na magpapalaya sa atin sa kulungan ng kasalanan. Paulit-ulit ko pong sinasabi, kung kayo ay palaging nagsisimba sa akin, 
na tayo ay nagkasala. Ikaw, ako, tayong lahat dapat umamin na tayo ay nagkasala sa isip. Kung nag-iisip tayo ng masama sa ating sarili o sa kapwa, nagkasala po tayo. Sa salita, kung nagbitiw tayo ng maanghang na mga salita, nagsisinungaling tayo, nagchichismis tayo ng mga fake news. Kahit alam natin ang katotohanan, pero naniniwala pa rin tayo sa fake news at sinasabi natin sa iba. Nagkasala tayo sa salita. Sa gawa, nangungupi tayo hanggang tayo ay magnanakaw na. Gagawa tayo ng masama sa ating kapwa. Nagkasala po tayo. Hindi tayo honest sa ating pagninegosyo. Hindi tayo honest. Nagkasala tayo. Nilamangan natin ang ating kapwa. Nagkasala tayo. At yung pang-apat po mga kapatid, sa ating pagkukulang. Kung tayo po ay may obligasyon, may responsibilidad sa ating mahal sa buhay na tinalikda natin, huwag nating gawin. Pagkukulang yun, pagkakasala. Yung mahal natin, mga magulang natin na dapat nating alagaan, may kakayanan tayong alagaan sila. Pero hinayaan natin, pinabayaan natin, pagkukulang din yun. Sa ating trabaho, may obligasyon tayo na dapat nating gampanan. Pero hinayaan natin, pinabayaan natin, pagkukulang din yun. Tayo, oy, tayo ay nagkakasala. Yan nga mga kapatid, ang panawagan sa panahon ng kwarisma, lalong-lalo na ngayong uh, simula ng Holy Week, pagsisihan at talikdan ang ating mga kasalanan. Dahil sa krus, kung saan si Jesus ay pinako, binuksan niya ang pintuan. Pinalaya niya tayo sa kulungan ng kasalanan. Pinalaya tayo ni Jesus. Pwede namang sabihin ng Diyos, bahala na kayo. Bahala na kayo. Dahil ginusto niyong gumawa ng masama, bahala na kayong Dumiretsyo sa impyerno, bahala na kayo. Hindi. Hindi naman ganoon ang Diyos. Mahal tayo ng Diyos. Mahal tayo ng Diyos, mga kapatid. Yan nga, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Ibinigay niya si Jesus para tayo ay mapalaya sa kaalipinan ng kasalanan dahil tayo ay naibilanggo sa kulungan ng kasalanan nasa atin po binuksan na ni Jesus pinalaya na tayo bukas na bukas na ang pintuan dahil sa krus dahil sa krus nilupig ni Jesus ang kamatayan sa krus nilupig ni Jesus ang kasalanan bukas na bukas na po ang pintuan Nasa atin, mga kapatid, ang pagpili. Gusto ba nating makinig sa paanyaya sa panahon ng kwarisma? Pagsisihan at talikdan ang ating mga kasalanan. At kung gagawin natin yan, pinalaya natin. Pinili natin, napalayain natin ang ating sarili sa kulungan ng kasalanan. Dahil binuksan na ni Jesus. Pero, kung piliin pa rin natin manatili sa loob ng kulungan, kahit bukas na ang pintuan, nasa atin pa rin ang pagpili. Nakakalungkot po na may ilan sa atin na nagsasabi, wala akong kasalanan, wala akong dapat ikumpisal. Mga kapatid, napakakalungkot kung marinig natin yan sa isang tao. Dahil paano tayo patatawarin ng Diyos kung hindi natin aminin ang ating pagkakamali, ang ating mga kasalanan? 
Paano tayo patatawarin ng Diyos? Nakakalungkot po, mga kapatid. Mamaya po, marinig natin yung mga taong sumisigaw, purihin ang Diyos. Purihin ang Diyos. Dahil dumating na ang hari. Tandaan din po natin, mga kapatid, sila yung gumagaway ng palaspas. Sila yung nag-welcome kay Jesus. Pero mamaya po, pag nilayan po natin, sinasabi din po nila, paglipas lang ng ilang araw, sinasabi din po nila, ipako siya sa krus. Ipako siya sa krus. Marinig po natin, Silang, sila ang tumanggap kay Jesus, sila din ang nagpapatay kay Jesus. Mga kapatid, yun ang tinatawag dating double kara. Double kara. Sana pakinggan din po natin sa Ebanghelyo, sa Second Gospel. Dalawa po ang kasama ni Jesus na ipinako sa krus. Yung isa ay nagsisisi. Yung isa kinutya si Jesus. Pero yung nagsisisi ay sinabihan ni Jesus, ngayon di, isasama kita sa paraiso. Dahil kung inamin natin na tayo ay makasalanan, isasama tayo ng Diyos sa kanyang kaharihan. Mga kapatid, Pakinggan natin ang paanyaya sa panahon ng kwarisma. Pagsisihan at taligdan ang ating mga kasalanan. Dahil binuksana ni Jesus ang pintuan ng kulungan ng kasalanan. Sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, cause our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross. Gracefully grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. What we are about to hear is the third song of the Lord's Servant. Its content foreshadows the preaching mission of Jesus and the tortures inflicted on him during his passion. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not traveled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who bit me, my cheeks to those who pluck my beard, my face I did not shield from the buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me scoff at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Indeed, my dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in upon me. 
They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? They divide my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O my help, hasten to aid me. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? In a few dramatic sentences, St. Paul summarizes the total self-emptying and the supreme exaltation of God's Son. A reading from the letter of the St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God, something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, be humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death even death of the cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to you the elders of the people chief priests and scribes aroused and brought Jesus before Pilate. they brought charges against him saying we found this man misleading our people he, he opposes, opposes the, the payment of taxes, taxes to Caesar, Caesar and maintains that, that he is the, the Christ, a king. king. Are you the king of the Jews? You say so. Pilate then addressed the chief priests and the crowds. I find this man not guilty. 
But they were adamant and said, He is inciting the people with his teaching throughout all Judea from Galilee, where he began, began even, even to hear. hear. On hearing this, Pilate asked if the man was a Galilean, and upon learning that he was under Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was in Jerusalem at that time. Herod was very glad to see Jesus. He had been waiting to see him for a long time, for he had heard about him and had been hoping to see him perform some signs. He questioned Jesus at length, but he gave him no answer. The chief priests and scribes, meanwhile, stood by accusing him harshly. Even Herod and his soldiers treated him contemptuously and mocked him. And after clothing him in resplendent garb, he sent him back to Pilate. Herod and Pilate became friends that very day, even though they had been enemies formerly. Pilate then summoned the chief priests, the rulers, and the people, and said to them, you brought this man to me and accused him of inciting the people to revolt. I have conducted my investigation in your presence and have not found this man guilty of the charges you have brought against him, nor did Herod, for he sent him back to us. So, no capital crime has been committed by him. Therefore, I shall have him flogged and then release him. But altogether they shouted out, Away, Away with, with this man! man. Release, Release Barabbas, Barabbas to us! Now, Barabbas had been imprisoned for a rebellion that had taken place in the city and for murder. Again, Pilate addressed them, still wishing to release Jesus. But they continued their shouting, Crucify him! him. Crucify him. him! Pilate addressed them a third time, what evil has this man done? I found him guilty of no capital crime. Therefore, I shall have him flogged and then release him. With loud shouts, however, they persisted in calling for his crucifixion, and their voices prevailed. The verdict of Pilate was that their demand should be granted. So he released the man who had been imprisoned for rebellion and murder, for whom they asked, and he handed Jesus over to them to deal with as they wished. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, and after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed, the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. At that time, people will say to the mountains, Fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Now, two others, both criminals, were led away with him to be executed. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. They divided his garments by casting lots. The people stood by and watched. The rulers, meanwhile, sneered at him and said, He, he saved others. others. Let, Let him save himself. If he is the chosen one, one 
the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, If you, if you are, are the, the king, king of, of the Jews, Jews save, save yourself. yourself. Above him, there was an inscription that read, This is the king of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Amen, I say to you. Today, you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Please all kneel and pause for a while. Please stand. The centurion who witnessed what had happened glorified God and said, This man was innocent beyond doubt. When all the people who had gathered for this spectacle saw what had happened, they returned home beating their breast. But all his acquaintances stood at a distance, including the women who had followed him from Galilee and saw these events. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So at this very moment, we, I, I invite you to keep quiet, just sit, sit down, keep quiet for a while. Let us reflect on the great love of God for us. Jesus died on the cross as a king. The cross is his throne. The cross is the key for our salvation. Let us reflect on the great love of God for us. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. 
he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Full of trust in the Lord's compassionate love, let us present our petitions to Him who is able to understand our difficulties and needs. Let us implore Him, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all believers may welcome always the Lord Jesus with open hearts, like those who welcome Him to Jerusalem. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father, our Bishop, and our priests may successfully continue to guide and encourage us to be faithful to Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the members of the judiciary in our country may render justice without delay, favoritism, or corruption. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the victims of legal miscarriages may continue their quest for justice with moral strength and be given their due. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize that the suffering endured by Jesus was also caused by our own sinfulness and lack of repentance. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us all kneel and let us pray the, the Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find the cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to find and use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers May they minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us to this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition, but in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. 
Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. San Ezequiel Moreno, pray for us. Lord God, sustain us in our soul to live as Jesus taught us. As we share in his suffering, may we also come to share in his glory forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds yet by the sacrifice made once for all we may feel already the effects of your mercy through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is only right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty eternal god through christ our lord for though innocent he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins, and His resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels in joyful celebration, we too acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Pablo Virgilio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
This is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Prayer for a spiritual communion. For our friends that are joining us today in our online Mass, let us pray the prayer for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourish with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us the hope for what we believe. So by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Ang ating patak-patak alay pagmamahal para sa anibersaryo ng ating kura paroko nakaraan, noong nakaraan ay may halagang 18,000 pesos. Sa lahat ng nagdonate at tumulong, maraming salamat po. Sa mga nais tumulong, maaari kayong magbigay sa ating opisina, sa GCash at bank account ng ating simbahan. Para sa mga may nais makabahagi sa fourth batch ng First Communion, maaari na kayong magpalista sa ating opisina. Mga gawain ngayong mahal na araw, lahat ng misa ng mahal na araw ay sa ganap na ikaanim ng gabi. Sa lunes, ikapitong salita ng siyete palabras ay sa ganap na ikapitot kalahati ng gabi, ang ating speaker ay si Bishop Ted Bacani. Sa Martes ay mayroon tayong banal na oras pagkatapos ng banal na misa. Sa Miyerkules ay misa na may pagpapahid ng Santo Olyo. Webes ang ating misa at huling hapunan paghuhugas ng paa ay sa ganap na ikalima ng hapon. Biyernes, alas 7 ng umaga ay daan ng krus. Alas 3 ng hapon ay ang ating pagpaparangal sa krus. Sabado, magsisimula sa ikapito ng gabi ang ating pagdiriwang ng liwanag at Easter Vigil. Magdala tayo ng ating kandila. Sa linggo ng salubong sa ganap na ikaapat ng madaling araw, ang Mater Dolorosa ay magsisimula sa Landasca Chapel. Ang Risen Christ ay sa Guido Chapel. Susunda ng misa pagkatapos ng salubong, ang susunod na misa ay sa ganap na ikapito ng umaga. Ang ating opisina ay bukas, alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 12 lamang, sa tanghali ng ah, hanggang alas sa Webes. Walang opisina sa Biernes Santo. Maraming salamat po. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Ako po si Brother Mark mula sa Parish Pastoral Council. Sa sandali pong ito, magkakaroon po tayo ng alay pagmamahal. Yung pong ating contribution ay ilalaan po natin para sa alay kapwa. Ito po'y programa ng Caritas Kaloocan na naglalayong tumulong sa mga kapatid nating maghihirap. Isa po sa bahagi o sa haligi ng kwaresma ay ang pagtulong sa maghihirap. Uh, past, pray, and give. Kaya naman po bilang ating paggunita sa mga mahal na araw, nakibahagi po tayo sa pagtulong at pagdamay natin sa mga kapatid nating nangangailangan. Maari na po tayong tumayo at ihalay po natin ano man ang ating maibibigay bilang tulong natin sa mga kapatid nating naghihirap. Maraming salamat po. additional uh, announcement po. Yung una po ay yung uh, ngayong Merkulis ay may pagkapahit po tayo ng Santo Olio, yung Holy Oil dahil uubusin po natin yung 
uh, nakaraang holy oil at yun ay ang pagpapahid ng langis na gaganapin sa Miyerkules. So healing mas din po yun. So sana ay dumalo po tayo. Dahil papalitan nyo ng bagong oil na gaganapin sa Chrism Mass. Pangalawa po ay tumulong po tayo sa alay kapwa. Dahil yan ang ating obligasyon na paglilimos para sa ating mga kapuspalad. So ang linggong ito ay tinatawag na alay kapwa Sunday. So yan nga yung patak-patak natin ay para sa alay kapwa. ba diba, nung Ash Wednesday, ang ating ibanghelyo ay may tutlo, uh, tatlong gawain na dapat nating gawin sa panahon ng kwarisma. Ang pag-aayuno, ang pananalangin, at ang paglilimos. Ito ay ang paglilimos. So sana nawa ay tumugon tayo sa panawagan na tumulong sa ating mga kapatid na mahihirap. At yung panghuli po, pagkatapos ng huling pagbabasbas, ay umupo lang po tayo dahil nakikita natin ang ating mga lay minister na magbabasbas sa inyong mga palaspas. So habang magbabasbas sila, iwagayway po natin ang ating palaspas bilang simbolo ng pagtanggap natin kay Jesus bilang hari sa ating buhay at sa loob ng ating tahanan. Magsitayo po tayo. Sumayin niyo ang Panginoon at sumayin niyo rin. Pagpalain kayo na makapangyarihang Diyos, ang Ama, Anak at Espiritu Santo. Amen. Tapos ng ating pagdiriwang, humayo kayong taglay ang kapayapaan at pagmamahal ni Kristo. Salamat sa Diyos.